Oh my goodness. And there it is. Wow, get the picture to go. Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Bowl TV. It is time for the pregame show prior to the step ladder finals of the 2021 PWBA Lincoln Open taking place at Sun Valley Lanes in Lincoln, Nebraska. My name is Aaron Smith. We're going to bring in our Hall of Fame broadcast crew in just a second. Uh, quick rundown of our top four. Uh, top seed, Kelly Kulik looking for her seventh career PWBA Tour title. The number two seed, Gigi Mason, looking to win her first career national title. She has a couple of regional titles. Shannon Pluhowski looking for her first win since the 2006 Queens on tour. And then Liz Johnson, a day away from her birthday, looking for title number 25. Uh, we are getting underway. If you're watching us on Facebook or YouTube, just a reminder, once we get to the stepladder finals, you got to head over to BowlTV.com to watch. So head over there now if you want to check it out, uh, pick up a subscription, watch the stepladder finals from the Lincoln Open. Uh, but folks... Since we got a couple minutes before it's game time here, we're going to bring in our first guest who's going to uh, uh, break things down for us throughout the course of this uh, excellent tournament here and the Step Ladder Finals. So let's welcome her in, Hall of Famer, CDB herself, Carolyn Doran Ballard. Carolyn, How welcome. Are How are you, Aaron? I'm doing great. I'm excited. This is a phenomenal I'm, Final Four uh, here in Lincoln. Too. I am I'm, I'm actually very excited, and it was a very exciting finish because – there were several girls that, based on what they bowled, they could sneak right into the third or fourth position. So I don't know if everybody watched position round, but it was just as good as a TV show. And I think we have, you know what, this show is full of um, veterans and the newcomer who doesn't bowl like she's a newcomer. So we're going to see some great things out of these four ladies. We certainly are. And uh, someone in the Bull TV chat even mentioned this is a, a collegiate matchup. We talked so much about mm -hmm. the connection to the University of Nebraska and Pluhowski and Gigi uh, Cornhuskers. But for Kelly and Liz, both went to Moorhead State. So there we go. Uh, two colleges represented. So that's going to be uh, fun to run down as well. Uh, we're going to bring in Mike Flanagan from Inside Bowling to join us. He is live on site. Hello, Michael. Hello. Great to see you guys here tonight. Uh, you're right. It's two Huskers against two Hall of Famers here. And mm -hmm. I, I got a cu couple of little stats to throw out for you here. This week. To cash in this tournament this week with 65 players, the top 32 cashed. It took a 2 -oh, just slightly short of a 2 -oh 3 average. And tonight to make the stepladder finals, low scoring. Liz Johnson averaged 216.79 for 24 games of qualifying. Number three seed, Shannon Pulhowski, averaged 218.17. Gigi Mason making her first televised appearance here tonight, 218.79. And Kelly Kulik, our top seed, was plus 581, 130 pins better than anybody else in the field. Average 224.21 going into tonight's show. Excellent. I like those stats. Those are that, that cash stat right there uh, for the top 32. I think a two, 203 average. Uh, look, I don't think the patterns are very easy out on the women's tour. Quite different looking at 2021 compared to 2019, 18, 17. But I like the lower cash. I think that uh, brings in a lot of different games into play, brings in fair shooting. But then for the top four, you always have the cream rise to the top. So those four or eight players always usually do separate themselves. So I think those stats are fantastic. All right, we are going to go ahead and um, bring on the lanes as well so we can uh, see our competitors as they get ready. Lanes 23 and 24, the TV pair this week. And uh, once again, all the folks on BoldTV.com, they already know it. Uh, it's a great bowling community. Uh, we got some giveaways coming up, so we're going to be giving away three bowling balls from our gold industry partners throughout the course of this broadcast. One from Brunswick, one from Storm, and one from Rotogrip. The only place you can do that, folks, is on BowlTV.com. So if you want to have a chance to take home a free high-performance bowling ball from one of those three companies, 
BowlTV.com. Sign up now. Subscribe. You got a couple minutes before we get going. Uh, so this opening matchup, Liz Johnson on the right side, Shannon Pluhowski on the left. Uh, for Shannon, she has been the lone lefty uh, since we started competition this morning. She was the only one uh, to make it to the top 32, uh, a place she is very familiar with from her time as a Cornhusker, first as a player and now as an assistant coach. They're fresh off an NCAA title. Um uh, how much of an advantage uh, is the left-handed, right-handed thing this particular week uh, with kind of how it's broken down on this 46-foot pattern? I, th I think it's an advantage, and I think this is something that Shannon has is very familiar with and has never shied away from. Uh, I've bowled with Shannon many years where she is the only lefty on her pair, not following any left-handers. So she has, has truly learned to adapt to her environment. The other thing is, let's face it, urethane has come back into play, and Shannon is no stranger to urethane. As a matter of fact, according to Chuck, she is looking to use urethane at the start of this match, which allows her to play the lanes a little more the way she wants to and will keep her in the pocket consistently. If she feels her carry is not what it needs to be to win this match, she will change. She is quick. Yeah, I got a little something here for you guys. Lanes 23 and 24. Our folks in the chat have even just pointed it out. This is the same pair that Belmo won the U.S. Open the last time U.S. Open was here. And also, just to let you know, I've been watching the ladies practice a little bit. You're right, CDB. You don't see a lot of urethane on the left side of the lane on the PWBA tour. But Shannon is going to be using urethane. And I'm seeing Liz start a little bit further to the right than where mm -hmm. she started uh, throughout the rest of the qualifying round. She's got a good look from out that I've seen so far in practice. We'll see if she jumps into the track or not. Mike, you got to run down on time for us before it's uh, time to get going here? Two minutes. They got the clock up there. It's about two minutes and 15 seconds. Okay. All right, folks. That means if you're watching on Facebook and YouTube, that's uh, that's how much time we got left. We'll take a quick refresh, and then it's going to be time to head over to BowlTV.com. If you're already there, you're all you are already all set to go. Uh, so, of course, you know, Kelly Kulik coming back third place in her first uh, in her first event back last week, the top seed this week. Uh, what a phenomenal run from Kelly uh, after, you know, kind of a questionable two, 2020. She had a rough 2019. We weren't sure uh, how much we were going to see her. Obviously, the season got canceled. She's back and uh, she's looked as good as ever. She she used that time wisely, and, and it is so apparent in the way she's bowling. She really took a good look at herself, her game, and her future. And she made some decisions during the pandemic and said, I still love to compete, and it's still, it's still truly what I want to do. So she had to make the changes. One of the things I mentioned last week, she is truly more aggressive to the line. She is using her legs more, which is allowing her – to get the ball out onto the lane she a little bit more than she did in 2019 and previous years. That has allowed her ball to conserve energy, and that's why she feels things have definitely taken a turn where she feels her carry is better. And once your carry is better and you see those pins fall, your confidence gets better also. Yeah, the other nugget I have is we have about 45 seconds left here is I like to look at championship round appearances. And this is this is Liz Johnson's second championship round appearance. This is now Kelly's second championship round appearance. Back to back weeks for Kelly. Of course, Liz made a show the very first show of the season. This is event number five. 20 titles up for grabs on the PWBA tour this season. Two championship round appearances. Aaron McCarthy and Dasha coming into this event each had three. Dasha made the top 12. Aaron McCarthy did not. All right, folks, we're going to go ahead. We're going to have a quick refresh here because it's time to get going. If you're on Facebook and YouTube, this is the time. Head over to BullTV.com because we're shutting it off. But uh, we appreciate everyone from joining us. We got a couple of giveaways, and we're going to award a champion here in just a couple couple minutes, couple hours uh, here at the PWBA Lincoln Open. So uh, when we come back, we will be looking at game number one of the Stepladder Finals, Shannon Pluhowski versus Liz Johnson. All right, folks, we'll be back soon.